Hey what's going on guys, my name is Midnight and welcome back to another Gears of War 4 discussion video in which I will be discussing with you guys the 3 additions we got for Gears of War 4 so without further ado, let's get right into it so the first edition we got is the standard edition if you buy it physically you get your cage, you get the game and includes access to all 24 post-release multiplayer maps in public play for free I don't know what that means, that has me a little bit confused but whatever and the pre-orders come with an exclusive Vintage Dell gear pack featuring a Vintage Dell character model, emblem, two Vintage weapon skins and a special Vintage Dell bounty as an added bonus for use in Gears of War 4. And the digital pre-order provides instant access to the Gears of War Ultimate Edition character pack for use in Gears of War Ultimate Edition. So that is a standard edition. So moving on to the Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition. This is what really grabs my eye. Early access, Ultimate Edition is your gateway to early access to the game, allowing you to play from Friday, October the 7th, four days before the release date. This applies to both physical and digital editions of the game. And that, I goddamn love it. My only problem when this was announced was that this was only on the digital edition of this Ultimate Edition Gears of War 4 game. And you know, I love pre-ordering physical copies, getting the copy of my game, put it on my cabinet or bookshelf, showcasing the game on my room. I really love that. I love the smell of, of a new game. <laughs> so, the idea of being able to play 4 days before and still able to get my steelbook case that that is actually another exclusive for pre-ordering the Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition is that you get a steelbook case and oh my god Ooh, yeah. so okay Ultimate Edition includes early access season pass five digital no five exclusive digital items as part of the vintage VIP pack including the Vintage JD character skin, Vintage Nasher and Dropshot weapon skins, Vintage JD emblem and Vintage JD bounty for extra XP. All our post-launch DLC maps are free for public and private play when available in our map rotation. So this go I think this is going to be a little bit like CSGO that the maps are going to be in a rotation like when you, I don't know, um, Nuketown, no, Nuketown, wow, <laughs> um, Nuke? You know, sometimes Nook from CS:GO gets on the off-season poll. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it, but still, you get the point. The season pass offers you ownership for over 24 additional maps, two per month for a year for private play on dedicated servers, so you can use any of the maps at any time with your friends. And this really grabs my eye a lot. Access to an exclusive developer playlist where new maps, modes, and features can be tested prior to broad release. And this is saying that, yes, we're going to get new maps, but we're actually going to get new modes as well later in the game in some DLC or in some free uh, updates like Halo does. Six gear packs with unlock special character and weapon skins and XP boosting bounties. You get basically six cases to open for free. And now for the collector's edition, the one I am not going to be able to afford because I am poor as hell. Collector Statue. This edition gives you an exclusive Gears of War 4 11 inch JD statue. You see JD in his, on top of his cock bike. 11 inch. You get a lithograph of the bike. You get a frag grenade keychain and a premium packaging. To be honest, I want this edition. I want it so bad. That premium packaging looks so damn epic. And the JD statue, I want it so bad. I want it so bad, why can I have it? Why? Why can I not get that sweet, sweet YouTube money? Oh my god. That YouTube money, uh, <laughs> YouTube money. Well, we don't know, maybe in these five months my channel can actually skyrocket and get all that YouTube money. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, slap a like on it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye, take care, and I love you very, very much. Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate it, bye bye.